Hello, is there somebody? Is there somebody?
Hello, hello, hello. Welcome by my live stream. If you want to see this video, I put on the beginning of my video. In the home version, 
check out my YouTube channel, The Mirror of the Truth. This is my main YouTube channel, where I do environmental videos, animal rights videos, and stuff like that. You have seen just. Some seconds I can open. I also do historic, historical based videos where I explain why slavery is slavery, no matter the victims. If you replace the victims, you still have slavery. Slavery is a system of systematic oppression, torture, and enslavement, commodification of innocent other animals. And you are an animal. You are Now, the word animal comes from, from the Latin words anime, life, reading, soul, love in life, conscious. So, welcome to my channel. Mate. I have some questions for you now, if there is already somebody, I do not know. Comment in the comment section if you are there. At least I hope you can. This is my second live stream, by the way. Uh, not second, uh, third live stream. So I have to figure out things a little bit better out for now. Um, I have to think about how I can. Better um, make my videos visible.
By the way, this is a banana based fruit salad with um, blueberries, dates, a little bit of flax seed oil. Yeah, that was a fun song. Oh yes, uh, sorry, uh, I see I have accidentally started a new uh, live stream. So, um, for people who just start in, my name is Giamata Azteca Rin, also known as the Mirror of the True. And the immortal vegan that are all video channels on youtube of me the mirror of the true is my all around vegan channel um on the other channel <coughs> i do uh, animal rights videos I do um, environmental videos, I do a lot of of videos, also um, play sometimes certain groups of home or megalomania on their place. By the way, that is my nickname for the species. I was the most dominant on the planet. By the way, check out this video of me. Same gender. 
aesthetic that animal agriculture is responsible for at least 91% of the deforestation. Um, of this is 70% to 75% of um, cattle ranch. And why should you care about that? Uh, first, you are not in the majority. Secondly, the deforestation and the acidification of the oceans also are very bad for the future generations of your own species. Without the rainforest and without the oceans to produce oxygen, there will be no life on the planet. And in the 50, last 50 years, because of animal agriculture and fishing, around 40% um, of all the phytoplankton are disappeared. Um, that means also that close to 50% of all the ocean on the planet is disappeared in a short 70 years. That is, this is extremely embarrassing. Raffle, Raffle has his graffiti too. To okay, so we got two graffitis to, to raffle off. Once, off. I claim, care, claim to care about equality and justice. The whole environment. When we destroying the oceans, when we destroying the life habitats of billions and billions of innocent living beings, and when we holocaust also billions and billions of innocent living beings, any year by the animal agriculture industry, in one year alone, around 70 billion land animals and 2.8 trillion marine animals are brutally
unknown. Uh, I think there is something wrong because I see people. Um, a friend of me says there see other people, but I see not other people. And I see also no comments. So have I locked myself from seeing comments of you? That's weird, by the way, if that's not true. Oh, I see now why. If you are not careful, the media will let you hate the ones that's doing the boudoir, the liberations, and love the exploiters. This is the media, one irresponsible media. They can let you feel empathy for criminals, violent, Puffs and mass murderers because they control the mind of the masses. The media is only interested in three basic things the attractive factor, the scandal factor, and the violent factor. The attractive factor is, for example, if you have some model on your ship or some celebrity, then you have also the scandal factor. If there are connected in some scandal and if there, there's also a violent scandal, Nah, then you have the first place tickets on the newspapers, man. Because that's what the media loves. The media loves scandals. The media loves celebrities. And they love the violence. They are not open on that they love violence. If it can make some money for them, get some attention. It will trigger people's attention. And marketing people are fascinated, and I say fascinated, by attractive people who are connected in a scandal. We is also a violent. There are a lot of violence at opening. But if you look to the tactic and which are in the media, Okay, as you can see, there are love violence, there are love attractiveness, and I love scandals. In 1984, I organized a campaign against uh, the killing of wolves in northern British Columbia and the Yukon. And we had them shooting wolves, which was violent. They had they threatened to shoot us, which was violent. Uh, and we, they're allowed to shoot wolves? Why? They're culling them? What's yeah, the excuse? Yeah, but big game hunters want them down yeah. because they're... And they're just their excuses to cull them. They yeah. can't. And then we had scandal because the environment minister was caught taking a bribe from a big game hunting official. So to round this up to have all four elements, I, I asked uh, Bo Derek to be our spokesperson. And uh, that gave us the other two elements. Right. And at 
the press conference, uh, a reporter for the Vancouver Sun said, this is stupid, why do you have Bo Derrick? She's no authority on wolves, why is she your spokesperson? I said, well, if I had the best wolf biologist in the world, Dr. David Mecker, Dr. Gordon Haber, nobody would be here, you wouldn't listen to us, but I see the room's full of journalists, it'll be the front page of your paper, tomorrow you're going to write it, yeah. and there's not a damn thing you can do about it. There's also the reason that a lot of um, some, some YouTubers are going full in the scandal fact because the media love that. That's what the media also do. And if you look at uh, the, the um, YouTube channels, how talk about things the media talks about, they are get uh, exposure in this moment. So this YouTube algorithm a little bit on this moment. So where I see it. Also, think about this. It is not so much important what to me yet what the truth if you ask the media, then I want to know what is most popular. That's the reason they are going now on the anti vegan wagon. And the wagon of the uh, Farmers are so sad because they are get uh, exposed by vegans. I would say that farmers are a bunch of criminals. Not according to the law, but according to logic. Because they are profits from the misery of innocent living beings. It's akin to the um, slave masters in the 19th century. I'm saying that the slave liberationists don't take a note on the position of the slave masses. Like, you know, the governor of the South, Hammond, actually also say in some of his letters, the abolitionist reasoning in the abstract, if it were um, moral or metaphysical speculation or Inner question in politics or precious to be surprise set out for exploration in their ignorance and recklessness there seems to be unable to comprehend our feelings or precision and surprise of our rights by destroying our property so Stop playing dumb, people. The media is the most powerful entity in the world because it's the media controls the mind of the matter, sadly enough. Media is also a pretty narrow, is dishonest. Um, often corrupt. If they are also not careful, they are also corrupting themselves. Like Goebbels, the propaganda minister of Nazi Germany. I want to make Hitler seem so peaceful as Dandy and spread a lot of lies. To make Hitler's image better than it was in reality. For example, that Hitler was vegan or vegetarian. That Hitler was for animal rights. Something that was absolutely a lie. The only love that he had for his dog, for example, was that the dog was strong. And that's what something that he respected. He don't respect it, the weak. He called himself the pure. The big daddy. Just like the Pope. Pope means also big daddy. He wants to be just like the Pope. I'll be sure of that. Spectacular if you look what Himmler or occult things. Of, uh, make, I try to make uh, his um, search for the holy. <laughs> you 
you know, the holy uh, cow. That's what he wants. That's what he search, but he also search for. Uh, he also shows them temples, uh, in castles, so and so on and so forth. In Germany, if Hitler won, we have a new crazy delusional religion or an religion to it. Yes, it is true. Hitler despised most organized Christian religions. But there is one particular one that he not this not distaste uh, fantastic. And that was um Luther's just and the Christians. A lot of Germans were Luton's Christians. Not I, I say not that Luton Christians are criminals or and all Nazis. But maybe it was it because Luther was a um, German that he don't dislike him and uh, his teacher. You know the whole uh, Ubermans concept of him. It does not matter, according to the media, if something is true. The media only cares if something is uh, can be marketed. If something is popular, there are absolutes the opposite of my standards. I ask myself always the question. Is it safe? Is it popular? Come the long day that you have to take a position that is not popular, it's not political right. But you can't you say that it is right? Yeah. If you can't you say that something is right, you are an honest person and you are being honest to yourself. Now, nah. To take the position. The media thinks in this way. Is something safe? Yes. And I'm going to do it. Is political correct? Uh, if somebody are bringing her in a, already in a bad lines by the media, yeah. And we go to roast them and put scandals on like they do uh, with, or try to do with uh, vegans like Joey Clark from however criminal history. And I uh, try to put uh, words in his mouth and turn his actions to what I've done in the past in what he can probably do in now. This is akin to how the media tries to demonize Malcolm X because of his drug history and his criminal history. Mm. As Malcolm X in that time of saying, to have once be a criminal is no disgrace, but to remain a criminal, that's the disgrace. It does not matter what you have done. But truly matter is what you do. That means, in other words, that you don't have to be the person that you are today, necessarily, that you have to be in the past. In other words, screw you, media, for blackmailing. Uh, people like Joey Carpenter and other vegans, when the farmers are actually the violent ones, they harm the animals. They're working in concentration camps. They are the violent people, and the people are buying these products. These not we, 
She's like the uh, slave masters trying to um, blackmail the abolitionists. Is the most powerful entity in the world. And if you are not careful, they have at your hate the heroes of the time. Of the time I love the criminals. Violent, legal criminals. I violate the rights of our lives. Just because they can If you look over the world, you see that anything is connected in a one or another way. If you put the strings a little bit, you see that it connect, is connected to something else. And not things stand low. Apart from each other, anything is connected. If you destroy uh, and pollute one bit of the world, on the longer run, it will also affect the health of other ecosystems. We live not in different worlds. And economic people have to stop saying that we not under our own. First world, the uh, second world, and the third world. Because that are all arbitrary propaganda, lies, and deceit. A better word for it are matrices, illusions, fake realities. We have only one world. And we have to be more careful. The essence of capitalism is to turn nature into commodities, and to turn commodities into capital. The life of green earth is earned in nothing more than that rich with luxury items for the few and toxic items for the men. Where in one glittery mansion look out of the streets. Where in one desperate this immoralized humanity is held in calm Tiffany with the media with drugs and with armed force. Capitalism is a foolish idea. What an astounding idea that the most wickedest of men will do the most wickedest of things for the greatest good of anybody. Think about this for a moment. This what in America is the norm. And in a lot of Western countries that have adopted the model of capitalism, capitalism served its master. Capitalism served the rich man. Capitalism don't serve the man. <laughs> Only the one that can avoid. Hello? Hello. Is there somebody out there? By the way, um, for the people who have not watched the beginning of this video, my name is Yamata Sekavrin. I am a musician. I am a vegan for around the half of my life on this earth. 
and I am a biocentrist. That means uh, that I look at the world in a totally different way than the majority of the people on this planet. I view this world viral according to how I think the world will viral life works. I think since we are specifically on the moment are not so a very worth so much worth to this planet. We should not value ourselves so much. But if we can become a species of viral, which I mean with a species of viral, is that we don't destroy our environment, we are living in harmony with the other earthlings. By the way, if you want to check that movie out, because that is a movie, You can go to YouTube or another website where there are here is Earthlings, here's another one of Earthlings, or you can watch Plants of Hope and Glory. And that one animal runs When we think of UK farming, we imagine picturesque rolling hills of lush greenery and serenity, inhabited by peaceful, content farm animals roaming freely amongst the landscape. These cultural associations of traditional UK farm. If you go to this website, you can um, watch it. If you want to know how, if you want to know how humane animal agriculture is, what I mean with humane is absolutely not humane because there is no humane way to commodify and enslave other living beings. And if that state point is hard and controversial to you, my guest, I suggest you have never watched this situation from the victim's point of view, unless the victim is um, too lacquered over how gets roasted in some rhetoric of vegans like me or vegans like Gary Rowski or that vegan lawyer. But you have never watched serious from the serious victims in this scenario. The animals are the victims. They are treated in horrible conditions. They are massacred. Like there are, like there are see that you see in um, movies like A Land of Hope and Glory or Earth or Earthlings.
those documentaries show you the truth about what is happening in this world. Instead of the fluffy, fake reality, the um, meat, dairy, and egg industry wants you to believe. And of course, they want you to believe that. Of course, they will to let you believe that animals are happy and safe. Of course they will let you uh, believe that it is all rainbows and sunshine like they are doing in the farm games. Because they are um, businessmen and they will to sell you stuff. Stuff that makes you actually sick. I have a whole category of um, resources. I bet I can, for any study you show me that animal body parts and secretions are not causing diseases, I can, I bet I can show you too, uh, that um, say that cost um, animal body, uh, animal body parts and secretions cause diseases. I all uh, place them in my pages. I have a category about cancer, and I have a category about skin issues. I have a category about cows and bovine secretions. I have a category about Alzheimer, dementia, type 2, diabetes, osteoporosis. And in any of those are in any of those sources uh, in the in the category, I have at least two to three studies linking animal body parts and secretions to many of the common diseases of gluttony in our Western world. I know some of you find it hard and controversial to hear because you are brainwashed by animal agriculture and their slick marketing propaganda uh, that wants you to uh, consume their body parts. But you have to understand that if you are in the addict mindset, that your mindset most oh, most likely is not so rational and um, therefore you should ask opinions of people who are don't addicts in this scenario because they can think more rational since they are not addicted to the stuff you are addicted to. You don't ask um, a meth addict or a um, cocaine addict, uh, so about the um, health or negative health aspects of uh, coke, do you? So why do you ask for health aspect about animal body parts, the secretions, uh, from people like um, Joe Rogan? I mean, I mean this old dude. 
This is how he looks in his 20s. I think. Because um, if not, he extremely fast ages. <laughs> Completely bald. Um, he thinks also that hunting is um, more civilized than buying animals from this animal select right. Yeah, so this is very sad that um, people are brainwashed that they have the right to uh, commodify animals and enslave them for food. It's a bit similar to how uh, slave masters were, or were uh, brainwashed to um, consider black people in America to be slaves and um, how Arabs in Europe uh, how yeah, Arabs uh, in the Middle East were um, believing that um, whites and Indians uh, were considered um, to be uh, lesser and deserving of to be commodified. Um, where did I have that article? Very long ago. A bit long ago, I did wrote an article about about slavery, um, specifically white slavery also, where um, Indian slavery under the Ottoman Empire. Search for the Dali Sultanate. And the Muhan Din um, Sultanate, both um, Muslim, Ottoman, stylish, Sharia lawish, stylish um, laws, whether are holds in that country. Sharia law is um, just as, as despicable um, as um, the slave master law. By the way, mo uh, many people on the Sharia law, um, specifically men, are brainwashed from birth that they uh, have the right to have a woman even if she don't want to marry him. Actually, one of the craziest aspects of Sharia law is that men can marry a six-year-old child. I don't. I'm j not joking. Serious. This um, this in Sharia law. If you don't believe me, and you say I'm racist or Islamophobic, it's serious happen in countries like um, Saudi Arabia. And more than you can imagine, maybe. Yes, some uh, interpretations of um, of the Quran uh, in indeed allowed people 
to be enslaved when there are not believe in or how if there are not believed thing in an organized religion with one god um, in many cases uh, the christians and the jews were um, better off than the um, hindus since um, hindus uh, believed in many gods and therefore were the so pagans that means they believe in more gods paganism means they believe in more gods just like you have um, the monotheistic religion, mono means one, believing in one God. Atheism means actually atheism, not believing in a God. And therefore, um, Hindus and Buddhists uh, were often worse off in the, uh, the Ottoman rule than the Christians and the Jews uh, were considered to people of the book. And so if they are paying the Hidya, tax on non-Muslims, they often have no problems. Uh, the Hidya changed a little bit per empire but in general it was around 2.5 percent of the of their uh, financial salary Religion isn't just another way to brainwash humane humans, says um, the soulmate healing. Yes, uh, you can say. Um, Schopenhauer called that religion uh, the art of um, the, the greatest art of animal training because it learns people to think. That's what he said about organized religion. I use the word hominid for our species um, for uh, reasons um, I have said in another video um, that I can also say that in this way also uh, because um, the word human and humane are, are etymology the, according to the etymology basically the same word it's only changed in the 18th century it both come, both words come from the Latin word humanus, uh, which means with kindness. Uh, civilized and benevolent. The only, so far I see it's the only reason our species calls itself human is uh, because uh, their belief there are so much more special than other living beings. So I go back to the word we 
used for our ancestors before uh, we started to call ourselves humans and we are the only surviving member of the family hominids so I call our, our species the hominids Some scientists want to uh, place gorillas also in this category, but I think it is uh, um, I think it is an insult to gorillas to place them in the sub category as us. Well because gorillas are far more superior than us. I'm not kidding. I'm also disagreeing with the name Homo sapien for our species since I consider our species not so sapiens. Sapien means wise, by the way, in Latin, for the people that don't know that. I don't, I hope that I don't have to uh, lay it out in so much detail for you. Yes, it is pretty hilarious indeed. Um, in the time of slavery, uh, the slaves were also one of another reason why I call not our species uh, humans is because um, historic. If you look to the historic old way of using it, um, slave masters were only using most of the time, specifically slave owners. Um, abolitionists called them slaves sometimes humans, but the slave masters themselves um, called their own species, uh, they called them on, on class humans. It was actually a bit of a class how they use it. So, it is, if you ask me, it is an attitude. The slave masters did believe their class was more humane, therefore more humane, than the than the blacks, how they're called savages, which means uh, uncivilized, basically. That means um, without civilization. It means without morality, it means That there are uh, sub men. There's also another name that are called them um, slaves in the time. The slave masters called them um, slaves, things like um, sub men, they're called um, bondmen, 
from foundation, katan, slave, prison, ankle. Foundation, Kate, Prison, Taking Away of Freedom, Enslavement. Another word was trial. And the slave missions did also have a lot of other names for the slaves. So they sensitized them and make them actually. Um, in their minds, lesser than them. That's what, sla that's what oppressors always do. Slave for masters, sexists, homophobes, they always place a mirror between them and their oppressors. Uh, the one they're oppressed. And they're allowed to have anybody how is lower than them and fight against them. That's the reason we have a middle class. In society, the middle class is created so the the upper class can easily go more easily go away with the scandals. So because the, the upper because the middle class and the lower class are fighting with each other, so the upper class have more free time to um, fuck around. <laughs> to say it uh, rudely. <laughs> yes, that's how the media works indeed. The media is focused or uh, can actually understand three things, uh, like I say in one of my videos about the media. I just show it on the beginning of the video. If you are not careful, you mean. Um, of capitalism is to turn nature into commodities. Uh, no, that's not the one. Maybe the turn commodities into... If you are not careful, the media... They can let you feel empathy for Terminals, violent puffs, three basic things. The attractive factor, the scandal factor, and the violent factor. The attractive factor is 
For example, if you have some model on your ship or some celebrity, then you have also the scandal factor. If there are connected in some scandal, and if there are there's also a violent scan. Now, then you have first price tickets on the newspapers, man. Because that's what the media loves. The media loves scandals. The media loves celebrities. And they love the violence. They are not open on that a lot of finals, but it can make some money for them, get some attention. It will trigger people's attention. And marketing people are fascinated, and I say fascinated, by attractive people who are connected in a scandal. We is also a violent. There are a lot of violence at opening. But if you look to the tactic and which are in the media, yeah, can, as you can see, there are love violence, there are love attractiveness, and I love scandals. In 1984, I organized a campaign against uh, the killing of wolves in northern British Columbia and the Yukon. And we had them shooting wolves, which is violent. They had they threatened to shoot us, which is violent. Uh, and we, they're allowed to shoot wolves. Why? They're culling them. What's yeah, the excuse? Yeah, but big game hunters want them down yeah. because they're... And they're just their excuses to cull them. They yeah. can't. And then we had scandal because the environment minister was caught taking a bribe from a big game hunting official. So to round this up, to have all four elements, I, I asked uh, Bo Derek to be our spokesperson. And uh, that gave us the other two elements. Right. And at the press conference, uh, a reporter for the Vancouver Sun said, this is stupid. Why do you have Bo Derek? She's no authority on wolves. Why is she your spokesperson? I said, well, if I had the best uh, wolf biologist in the world, Dr. David Mecker, Dr. Gordon Haber, nobody would be here. You wouldn't listen to us. But I see the room's full of journalists. It'll be the front page of your paper tomorrow. You're going to write it. Yeah. And there's not a damn thing you can do about it. There's also the reason that a lot of um, some YouTubers are going full in the scandal fact because the media love that. That's what the media also do. And if you look at uh, the um, YouTube channels, I'll talk about things the media talks about. They are getting uh, exposure in this moment. So, this YouTube algorithm a little bit on this moment. So far I need to see it. Also, think about this. It is not so much important what to me yet what truth if you ask the media then want to know what is most popular. That's the reason they are going now on the anti vegan wagon. And the wagon of the uh, farmers are so sad because they are get uh, exposed by vegans. I'll say that farmers are a bunch of criminals. Not according to the law, but according to logic. Because they are profits from the misery of innocent living beings. It's akin to the um, slave masters in the 19th century. Uh, I'm saying that the slave liberationists don't take a note on the position of the slave masters. Like, you know, the governor of the South, Hammond, actually also say in some of his letters, the abolitionist reasoning in the abstract, if it were um, moral or metaphysical speculation or a minor question in politics, or fascist to be surprised, said, at or expression in their ignorance and recklessness there seems to be unable to comprehend our feelings or position and surprise of our rights by destroying our property so stop playing dumb people the 
media is the most powerful entity in the world because it's the media controls the mind of the masses, sadly enough. Media is also a pretty narrow, is dishonest and often corrupt. If there are also not careful, they're also corrupting themselves. Like Google's, the propaganda minister of Nazi Germany. I want to make Hitler seem so peaceful as Dandy and spread a lot of lies. To make Hitler's image better than it was in reality. For example, that Hitler was vegan or vegetarian. That Hitler was for animal rights. Something that is absolutely a lie. The only love that he had for his dog, for example, was that the dog was strong. And that was something that he respected. He don't respect it, the weak. He called himself the pure. The big daddy. Just like the Pope. Pope means also big daddy. He wants to be just like the Pope. I be sure of that. Spectacular if you look what Himmler or occult things of, uh, make, I try to make uh, his um, search for the holy <laughs> you know the holy okay. that's what he wants that's what he search, but he also searches for uh, he also shows them temples um, castles so and so that's for in Germany if Hitler won, we have a new crazy delusional religion or an actual religion to it. Yes, it is true. Hitler despised most organized Christian religions. But there is one particular one that he not dis not distaste. And that was um, Luther's just and the president. A lot of Germans were Luther's Christians. Not I, I say not that Luther Christians are criminals or and all Nazis, but maybe it was it because Luther was an German that he don't dislike him and uh, his teacher. You know the whole uh, Ubermans concept of him. I've created. It does not matter according to the media if something is true. The media only cares if something is um, can be marketed. If something is popular, there are absolutely the opposite of my standards. I ask myself always the question: Is it second? Is it popular? Come the long day that you have to take a position that is not popular, it's not political, right? You can't you say that it is right? Yeah. If you can't you say that something is right, you are an honest person and you are being honest to yourself. Now, and you have to take it into position. Immediate things in this way is something safe? Yes. And I'm going to do it. It's political. Correct. Uh, if somebody, um, 
bring through and uh, already in a bad lines by the media. Yeah. And we going to roast them and put scams on them. We would like to do uh, with or try to do with uh, vegans like Joey Carp from however criminal history. Try to put uh, words in his mouth and turn his actions to what I've done in the past in what he can probably do now. Because it is akin to how the media tries to demonize Malcolm X because of his drug history and his criminal history. As Malcolm X in that time of saying, to have once be a criminal is no disgrace, but to remain a criminal, that's the disgrace. It does not matter what you have done. What truly matter is what you do. That means, in other words, that you don't have to be the person that you are today necessarily that you have been in the past so you can check the whole video out if you want Oh, I see. I have again the can conspiracy theorist on my YouTube channel uh, spreading his uh, we are all robots um, rhetoric. <laughs> so funny. He can believe what he wants, but I don't um, believe in them. Uh, we are all machines, rhetoric, because we are existing out of carbon. We are don't existing out of metal. That we have to eat some um, kind of metals in our diets. <laughs> it does not mean that we are uh, robots we are living organisms robots are not living or sentient and there is no proof that robots ever uh, can be sentient not um, by any uh, credible scientific source so far I know I don't believe in conspirations, Mr. K. KP, I don't uh, believe in conspirations. I believe in science. I believe in research. I don't believe in theories of somebody I have never met in real life or how I have little to no scientific background so far I know 
please, um, if you are only going to talk about how you believe that we are robots, um, please come and talk to about talk about other stuff or go um, to other people who are believing also that we are all robots. Yes, I have um, li heard of Lipton. Um, I'm not agree with anything he said, but there are many things I agree on. Uh, Yes, we exist out of many types of bacteria. We exist out of um, more bacteria cells than hominid cells. The name I call our species. Actually, um, a ratio of 1.3 bacteria cells on one um, so-called human cell. So, what is the stuff um, I shall talking about in um, my next coming videos on my um, Mirror of the Truth videos? Life is far more than only proteins. By the way, K, P. In genetic material, there are also types of sugars. If you not believe me, search for it. DNA is not pure 100% protein. Yes, I can see, I think from any place I am streaming in the um, app of um, Restream. Do you truly want to know why do you not do your research? Maybe I do one video about the suffer I know uh, that is proven about the complete genome of our DNA. You can um, think if you truly want 
reduce basically anything to uh, to atoms. Kpay. Why do you hanging in my stream actually? Um, have you truly uh, um, questions or are you just um, want to get your high? From which university do you, of course? It sounds you are listening to conspiracy theories. You say that I'm strawmanning you. Maybe it is because I don't subscribe to your anthropocentric way of thinking and I don't believe in the Rene Descartes retard philosophy I'm backwards. I don't. I have never believed in the retardation of Rene Descartes. I have always think that that guy was um, an idiot. Since he believes in um, that we are robots and that uh, that we don't. That um, animals don't can feel pain, and even uh, that he have seen that animals suffering when he was executing and torturing animals in his psychotic work, in his disgusting um, studios. Ideas, tools are created by experiments and how we are perceiving this world. You're stretching the imagination. You th you're stretching the reality a bit to come to conclusions that um, 
leaves have blonde, have um, that the plants have um, leaf, um, that plants have eyes on their leaves and that the nectar of the plants is in any way similar to blood. Okay, Pei, have you changed your YouTube name? Maybe. Because I can only remember to see you um, for a couple of um, months. When I can clearly remember um, many other of my longer time subscribers. Gaming, game and uh, gaming, you mean? Um, I'm not so much in gaming. I use this platform maybe um, mainly to watch my own videos sometimes and talk about stuff. That's why I not all the time also live stream on YouTube. Because uh, the channel where I live stream on is mainly my cooking channel. It is not a debate channel. Maybe I would do make a channel where I only debate people. Yes, I did have one game channel. I have placed there maybe five videos on. Proteins are amino acids. Your body breaks down proteins into amino acids and then your body makes it uh, into um, proteins, their uh, amino acids they need. 
all, food, all um, plant foods have all the nutrients and vitamins you need. Uh, protein is absolutely not a problem. The only people who believe you can get a um, shortage of protein are people who are honestly a bit dumb or have not done their research good about this stuff and have only watched people who are addicted to um, protein and who are selling protein supplements working for the meat, dairy and egg industry The hominid body, or species by the way, and this name I know, call my species for the people who if there are new people watching the stream, um, needs only around 5% protein according to the World Watch Institute. I have a video about that stuff by the way. Um, Uh, yes, protein deficiency. For the people who claim that they have protein deficiency, protein. 28 grams of protein. And the people don't uh, get protein deficiency. For the people who claim that they have protein deficiencies, I say you most likely have caloric deficiencies. I also can show you an article of Dr. John Matuko, one of the most greatest nutritional scientists. There's a newsletter of Dr. John Matuko. where he actually talks about how the World Health Organization and the in the 1974 have um, placed people on an extremely low protein diet uh, with actually you know, little to no um, negative effects. Uh, actually, no little uh, negative effects. There are food people on a 5% protein diet. That's um, around 29 grams of protein for a woman in this case, and for a man, uh, around four, uh, 30. Um, 8 grams protein. You can check that video out on this video. It is this link in the description in the blue if you want to check that article out of 
jo Dr. John Meduko. Yes. That's a good day. I stop giving you attention, K. Okay. Pay. If you want to blare your nonsense. Please do it somewhere else. And maybe eat some fruits. Eat some raw fruit. Eat some bananas. Eat some blueberries. Eat some dates.
by the way, if you want to talk about health stuff, why are you not going to uh, sit in the live streams of um, Dr. John Ntuko or uh, in uh, the of uh, Miguel Gregor? There are the there are more experts in this field than me. I know a lot about stuff, but I think there are no a bit more. Diabetes. Diabetes to act two. I see I have um, three studies about diabetes type two. Can you see it? People, I've um, put the statistics on top on the link to the study, and this shows that vegans have sixty eight percent lower rates of diabetes than non vegans or vegetarians. Diabetes is, by the way, caused by the body's um, this uh, capacity to um, a problems with um, absorption of sugars because the fat is in the way, and if you are becoming less fat, your Calories are becoming more working better, and your pancreas is not longer, um, your liver is not longer over, um, over producing of uh, insulin, uh, it's not um, insulin. The instrument, um, the insulin receptors are no longer paralyzed, and then your body can again easily absorb the sugars out of your food. But that can they not do uh, when there are so much fat in the way? Type. So diabetes is mainly only caused by excess of fat in the diet. So the only vegans who have diabetes are the ones who eat large amount of fat in diet, lots of oil, for example. But The body get not um, paralyzed from carbohydrates. The insulin receptors, I mean, uh, in the body are not paralyzed by sugar. And better name for sugar uh, for uh, diabetes is actually um, not sugar disease. Uh, like they are, like to call it in my country, but in fact, a better name should be a um, fat disease because it's is because your body is 
oversaturated with um, fat. Now, how long uh, do I streaming now? Actually, <laughs> there's a lot of time. I think. I think so. By the way, this is mint water with the ginger. I like it very much. Very rich, fresh. Maybe people who think um, diabetes um, is not um, easy to solve with a whole food plant-based diet, uh, maybe should um, search for names like Dr. Campbell Dr. Um, Campbell or Dr. John Matuko. I can also make a video about it, but I think Dr. John Matuko can, can explain it better. He has actually a video Diabetes type 2 John McDougall, and uh, what people want me to talk about more and more these days is uh, diabetes. People are talking a lot about diabetes. They ought to be. I mean, somewhere around 10% of the population in the United States is diabetic, and the kind of diabetes we're talking about is type 2 diabetes. It used to be called adult type diabetes, but we just call it type 2 now. And by definition, this kind of diabetes is due to the rich Western diet and becoming fat. So, you would think, if that's what type 2 diabetes is, it's a consequence of eating the rich Western diet and becoming fat, that you ought to be able to cure it by correcting the problem. And you can't, by definition. And I want you to know I sincerely mean this. By definition, type 2 diabetics are always curable by fixing the problem, which is the Western diet. Get rid of it. Substitute it for a starch-based diet with the addition of fruits and vegetables. Lose the associated ex... You are guilty of an appeal to anti-authority. Any time you say that something is not um, a fact or something like that, um, because it is an authority, that's just as much a fallacy as saying something is something just because an authority freaker says it. So you are, I suggest, I am intentional, extremely ironic, Mr. K. P. Excess weight, the obesity, and you will be cured. That's what the truth is, and that's what the science says. And my more than 35 years of experience 
as a medical doctor, shows that to be true. Why not? Think about it. The definition, type 2 diabetes, a dietary disease by definition. Why couldn't you fix it? You can. You lose the weight, you eat a healthy diet, and it goes away, and you get off the pills. And that's, of course, what you want. But people aren't hearing that. What they're hearing is you need to take one pill after another pill, and then you have no. to go on insulin shots. And these and pills make, make you sick. You are the one with making things make up. You even fatter, and your diabetes gets worse, and you feel lost. And the problem I stop is now continuing to react to you, okay. okay. because you are thirty percent of the population clearly in so Western countries. Because you are clearly so full of yourself that you are incapable of thinking for yourself and outside of your addictions. I think. Here's something I can give you. Please stop listening to trolls on the internet and pseudoscientists and pseudo doctors like um, you know that a weirdo on the internet how things even a pig organs is okay. I like. Um, Um, that German guy, um, SV Rich, you know, that um, bit bold guy with um, with the weird fantasies about um, cannibalism <laughs> and believing Siri killers are heroes. You are a victim of veganism. Have you actually the idea how the true victims are? Look to that. These are the victims. You are not the victim. You are the oppressor. Stop taking the victims the out of the scenario. You are a filthy, disgusting, parasitic organism who don't deserve to lie. How can you ask for something you are not willing to give? It is unfair to ask for something you are not willing to give. We can all get all our vitamins and all our minerals from plants. So there is no need for a holocausting like this you see on the moment. It is time to evolve. Most human beings are speciesists. This film shows that ordinary human beings, not a few exceptionally cruel I know or this is humans, hard to see. but the overwhelming majority of people take an active part as value because I they know are it's hard to see but this is what you support when you are eating animals. animals I know I don't like to see it I don't like to see it fully and I know you don't like to see it so stop paying for this holocaust to happen this is happening in slaughterhouses all around the world this is not an isolated incident this is what metal people how are life uh, activists how are protesting see any time there are um, protests around the school house you can this go inside task is not this is the stuff the media don't want you to see awaken shackling and hoist
Are you going to play that game also? Let them make a video about it. Maybe you can also um, go think about this is this way. Animals in the animal agriculture industry eat also greens. At least 60% of all the grains on the world are feed to livestock, mate. So you kill far more animals and insects and rodents when you eat animal flesh. Stop playing the sleazy rapist defender or rapist who say, oh, uh, this is the woman's problem for becoming rape because she dressed too well, slutty. This is how you actually sound. How can you claim that vegans have any blame when you have nothing ever remorse for the cruelty you inflict? You are a hypocrite. That's the definition of a hypocrite. And by the way, animals who are in the fields have a chance to escape. And most of them escape before the tractors come and kill the plants or take the plants. You are so treated. All your delusional flesh eaters, how think? Oh, we say that vegans also kill plants, so why can we not do it? Are you going off to say, so say, from um, something like that? Uh, from we cannot uh, stop all rapists from uh, raping, so let we are um, not st try to let them stop raping. By the way, animal agriculture industry, the animal agriculture industry is the bogus biggest rape organization of the pla on the planet. Animal rent in animal. Dairy is raped, it is dirty. The stake, the put one hand in the female procreation organ of the cow and then steal her baby. How can you live for yourself? Veganism is about causing the least amount of harm possible on the whole planet. Stop talking like. Uh, Mr. Hammonds, the governor of the South. How's that? The abolitionists are reasoning in the abstract. If it were some moral or political question or minor question in politics, in the recklessness and arrogance, they forget completely our position and our rights. The suppression of our property. And if you don't believe me, check out Haman's letters on slavery, mate.
Now go to this website. And go read this essay. 20... Oh no. 32 pages of slavery rhetoric in defense of their immoral status quo and maybe it lets you think about the justification of the fallacy of uh, appeal to social contract You can better feed people plants. It takes up to 20 times more prod, uh, food from, um, uh, from plant, plant food um, to create one pound of animal flesh. Feeding people animals is insane if you want to feed the world. The only reason of world hunger, according to basic logic, is uh, by feeding anybody on a plant based diet. Like I have said in this article of mine, I have saved. And here are the sources. Indeed. So you can see if you search for this link. Up to 84% of all the livestock live in countries where children's food is stolen to feed the livestock. How is then feed to the West? Your non-vegans are so hilarious. You're stealing the food out of poor children from Africa's mouth. And you say that we vegans are the hypocrites. Have you ever heard from the word irony? Because you are so ironic. <laughs> On one acre of land, you can feed around four, um, uh, around um, six vegans, and you need three acres of land to feed one person on the American diet. To feed one person on the necrophore, um, mostly 100% necrophore diet, beef based diet, etc. Uh, then you need actually um, 13.5 acres of land. It is insane. Eating animals is totally unsustainable. Oh, yes, it is always so easy to blame somebody else and say that you are yourself right, but that um, others are right and wrong. Because your ego is, I suggest, more worth to you than the life of billions of innocent living beings. People like you, K. Pei, are the reason I despise so many of my species. You are a joke and a sarcasm. Please leave my stream.
Now, soul meditation, are you still there? Sorry that I have not blocked him earlier. I was hoping I can convince him that he was totally delusional, but sadly his ego is so huge that no bit of logic I suggest will convince him that he is um, totally brainwashed and honestly a bit cuckoo. Maybe I have to stop this stream now. For the people who are watching my stream now, um, who just are coming on, I am not always um, as angry or how you want to see it or um, blunt as I did become because of that k -pay. and I'm most of the time more friendly and nice So, I have blocked him. I get a little bit furious um, when people are totally uh, taking the victims out of the scenario. I totally get pissed off when people are thinking they are the victim when they are not the victim. I absolutely despise people who think they are more important than other living beings just because they belong to a more privileged species or a more privileged class. This reminds me of some of my bullies from high school. I also um, think it was fun for them to uh, bully me because um, I was um, very skinny even more skinny than I am now and I um, <laughs> get bullied because of that I was the strange weird kid on school playing with um, 
insects uh, walking away around with them, playing them on trees, and then uh, <laughs> playing guitar on. Thank you so much, meditation. I just um, have to say maybe I'm strange according to society's norms, um, according to the majority of people. But strange, if you ask me, strange is not always negative. <laughs> it just means that you are different. The world will be very... The world will be very straight if anybody was normal according to society. I think I will uh, put out the chat for now. Oh, um, I've nearly um, one hour streamed. I've um, was not knowing that I can do that stream for so long time. I did not know I have in, it in me um, to do such a long stream. So the long stream was, um, you know, vegan games. It's a, it's a bit rude, but sometimes. He is funny. Sometimes I find him very annoying. I think this. Uh, I think this guy, vegan games, will uh, kick most meat eaters' butt. <laughs> if they say, "Where well, get you protein from? Plants, baby." <laughs> but now, when darkness and light become one, the reality sprints away. Think. People think for yourself, think from the perception of um, the victim. Never, and I repeat, never place yourself in the position of the victim when you are not the victim. When vegans say you are bullying animals or you are supporting animal cruelty that's not bullying that's the reality if you say that uh, children suffer uh, to a pedophile how abuse children that's not bullying the pedophile if you are saying to um, rapists that women don't like to be raped that's not bullying the rapist that's speaking up for the victims do you get what I mean <laughs> Bye bye. Till the next time.